What's up, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> just had to do that because that's what they all say I sound like. Yeah. Guys, this is going to be an awesome episode because it's all about our Latina pride. So I am sitting here with my fellow proud Latina here, Grace, who is my stylist. Proud Equatoriana. Equatoriana. <laughs> okay, so we are doing a Latina beauty haul. We went out and purchased a bunch of makeup items from brands that are Latina owned. And everything that I mentioned in this video will be listed below so that you can check it out as well and support some of our fellow Latinas. And you don't have to be Latina to support another Latina. Right. I just think it's awesome to celebrate diversity all around. So, you like natural, airy makeup. I feel like yeah. you're not the girl First that- of all, can I make a disclaimer? I don't really wear that much makeup, so this <laughs> is kind of interesting. So I'm gonna test the products out on Grace. We're gonna start with the base, and that is the Honest Beauty Everything Primer Glow Prep and Prime. All of us know Jessica Alba, and they started doing Honest Beauty. So we know Honest originally started with like kid stuff. Kid stuff, yeah. And diapers stuff. and yeah, anything that didn't Do you have use like any rough, of the Honest yeah. stuff. Olivia had the diapers, mm -hmm. the wipes that are you know fragrance free. Yeah, so. my sister was obsessed Honest Everything when she had Jet. And they even have like an ointment balm that we would yeah. use as like a lip balm. Yes. That's balm as it's, well. It's really good. Get it, the lip balm was balm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're about to check out this primer. I actually want to put it on your hand first because I want you to see how it feels. So guys, this is literally a haul. We bought all this stuff. We're trying and testing it for the first time. I've never tried any of these products except for the obvious, like the Beauty Blender, which we're going to use right now, which is actually created by Rianne, who is a Latina and I don't know about you guys, but I know there are so many different versions of like sponges that are similar to this, but I can't use anything but the official Beauty really? Blender. Yo, it makes a huge what? difference. I swear there's something different about like how it absorbs water. It's the OG in the game of sponges and it is my favorite. I'm gonna put it on your under eyes so that. It did, it felt really like silky, I don't know. Right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't have the greatest smell, just keeping it real. But I think that's because it's the Honest Company. Yeah, it's like sure. fragrance free, like you're not using a bunch of harsh chemicals to cover up the smell. So, yeah, it's got an sense. interesting scent. So we are prepping her under eyes with the Everything Primer. And although you guys have never actually seen me use a primer in any of my makeup tutorials, I think I'm gonna try starting to use one and see if I see a difference. Let me know in the comments below if you use a primer and the difference that you see. And that gets us to move on to Kat Von D. Guys, I didn't know Kat Von D was a fellow Latina. Who knew? I hear she's Argentinian possibly. Yeah, I had no idea. No That's idea, crazy, yeah. ever. I have actually heard amazing things about her foundation and I used to have a makeup artist back in the day, shout out to Eva Kim, uh, who used to always use her foundation on me because she swore that it like did not move. So I'm opening this packaging. This is available at Sephora. We got two different colors going with medium warm 58, which is the lighter of the two. So again, guys, this is me using my foundation on my color on Grace, which this is gonna be if you haven't noticed, there is a slight oh difference gosh. in our colors. I am clearly darker. Eyes up. The way I'm like, Pushing your, I should hold on to your moño while we do this. This color is not the right color, guys. This is gonna make me look like I'm the but worst. Why are makeup you mad at me? <laughs> like I'm the worst makeup artist of all time. You're dabbing so hard. Just like this. Well, we need to blend. Oh, Jesus. So I think the key to this amazing product is finding your correct shade. Okay, so <laughs> now we've got something going on here. Something. This is like la basa, la basa, la basa, la basa, la basa, la basa, la basa. You know where that's from? Yeah. In New York City, when you'd call car companies like the Lancy Car oh, Service, yeah. the Dominican car yeah. companies in New York City, when they're trying to reach the base, like for a taxi, <laughs> dispatcher. So they, it, mm -hmm. it's called I need a kit base. Mm -hmm. So in New York City, you'd be in the car and they'd be like, la basa, la basa, la basa, la basa, la basa, la like trying to read the base, the base, the base, the base, you know? If you're from New York, you know. Comment yeah. below if you know about la basa, la basa, la basa, la basa. That's almost like la mega se pega, la mega se pega, la mega se pega, la mega se pega, la mega se pega. What is that? La, la mega. mega. Se... What's la mega? Uh, the best radio station in, in New, New York. York City. Boom. Okay. I have actually used 
the Kat Von D foundation before and what I love about it is that you guys, this is long lasting, it will not move. She actually also has, it's literally called Lock It. I like it, I think if you are going for full coverage, if you're gonna be in the hot sun, this is probably a great foundation for summertime because it's not going anywhere. Okay, that's all that means. now we're gonna move on to powder. So we're gonna, we're gonna powder this situation now that we've foundated. Oh, this is interesting. And we are going to use the Honest Company's Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. Wow, this is a contraption. Wow. Get contraption, <laughs> this is. I like my mom. What is your mom Wow, doing? pero mira esto. Wow, wow, I'm impressed. So okay, one. so now we are gonna actually use one of our Sigma brushes, guys. These feel like heaven. Okay, look up. How does that feel on the skin? Did I stab you in the eye? A little bit. I am setting uh -huh. your foundation. It's soft, right? Yeah, this brush is actually. You can have some brushes. I've had makeup artists work on me. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Oh my God. Don't call out Lena I'm like that. Totally joking. Jeez. I've had makeup artists work on me, and I swear they're brushes. Like, yo, straight up violation of my skin, my eyeballs. They feel like somebody's trying to apply eyeshadow with a cactus. It is not what's popping. You have long eyelashes, Grace. Now, I'm ready to contour. I'm going to do a nice contour. How do you say contour in Spanish? Vamos a contu conturir. Contura, no? <laughs> Vamos a hacer contura. Contura? Okay, this is a whole other debate. Let us yeah. know how you say contour in Spanish. I, it, it, Lana is saying it's contorno, but that sounds like an Italian word. And I can't imagine being like, ahora vamos a hacer el contorno. No, it doesn't sound right, but we Moving right along to a palette I have been dying to have, and I'm super excited because I'm a huge fan of hers. It is the Desi Perkins and Katie Dose of Colors palette. You know Desi Perkins, I've yeah. shown you her pictures yeah. online. First of all, this packaging the is packaging really is yeah. stunning. You know what it looks like, right? What shoes does these look, this look Stuart like? Stuart Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman did a shoe that almost looks identical to mm -hmm. this. This's so really as a stylist, she's like, yeah, this is the same material. I love it. So they did a collection together and I'm a huge fan of theirs and I always loved the packaging when I saw it online and I loved the colors when I saw it online, but I never purchased it until now and I'm actually really excited about this. I'm thinking of going with the so blue. And it's rose gold, you love rose gold. I love rose gold and I really am excited I'm about sorry, it. I'm sorry, you were going with what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. I was, I was waiting for you to react. So this is the Desi and Katie Friendcation. It's cruelty free, gluten free, paraben free. And um, you guys know Desi, like she's amazing. She's a YouTuber as well, a fellow YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber now too. I'm gonna start with La Basa La Basa for her eyeshadow, and we're going with the color Necessary, which in Espanol is Necesario. Oh, this is good. Oh, yes. Gracie. By the way, my mother calls Grace Gracie, but she doesn't say Gracie, it's Gracie. Do they ever call you Graciosa? No, just you. <laughs> just her, that's it. So I used Necesario, as the base, and now we are moving on to, oh, Dirty Money. Dinero Sucio. I love this. That's the name. It's better and It's my better. own version. I'm translating the names of this color palette into Espanol, so this is called Dirty Money. It's the green color. We are calling it Dinero Sucio. And I am just gonna place that in the corners and drag it in. Um. That's, oh, oh, I'm sorry, say that again? That's pretty. It just looks, I wasn't sure. It looks really pretty. No, exactly, this is what I do. Okay. okay, so I love this color so much that I actually want to go underneath. So again, my Sigma brushes, going back under her eyes with Dinero Sucio, AKA Dirty Money. Eyes up. How's this brush? A little prickly, or it's no, not terrible? No, not at all. I'm not harming you? No. This is cruelty free as well. Actually, I don't know that. I'm just saying it's not torturing her as I'm using it. All right, I actually think that looks yeah. simply pretty. Like just a little like, oh hey, 
Now we are gonna go to a super affordable brand that is available in Target and I was super impressed by this. It is called Reina Rebelde, which means mm. rebel queen. I like that. Reina Rebelde and I am gonna use her palette. It is called the On Your Face Contour Color Trio and it is in the color Coqueta and I like that they oh, did everything cute. in Spanish. That's really cute. I love the packaging, super cute. And in the Coqueta palette, uh, it is Contour, highlight, and a blush. How cute is that? Give me the cheeks that you see me do every single day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means wait. Perate. <laughs> it's actually esperate, but because I actually really can't speak Spanish. I just don't speak it formally. If you are Latino and grew up in New York like myself, I think sometimes our Spanish can get interesting. I speak very New Yorkian Spanish, even though I'm half Ecuadorian. You're full Ecuadorian, but yeah. how did everybody talk in your house? Way more formal than my family. Yeah, okay. My mom's side of the family, that's Puerto Rican. Like, growing up, the roof in Spanish is el techo. My Puerto Rican family would be like, vamos pa'l rufo. So, I clearly was raised slightly confused because half of my family spoke one way and the other half of my family spoke another. But all together, I'm so grateful that I speak Spanish and that uh, sure. I'm bilingual. Okay, this is actually really nice. The colors on this are super pretty. Um, This highlight? Hold, oh, please. Ready? Brillante. <laughs> que brilla, que brilla como el sol. Guys. This highlighter is phenomenal from Target. And she had so many products, like an entire section in Target that I thought was super cool. And again, to know that it is Latina owned was like, yes, palante. Another product from the Reina Rebelde collection is they have a Rebel Eye Paint. It's for brows and eyes. So we are gonna try this out on her brows. Mm -hmm. Guys, I haven't done my eyebrows in two and a half months. Because you're letting them grow out. I am which I think is gonna be Just the- in case you guys get a close up. No, I think that that's gonna look amazing. For all the girls out there, well, hold on. Oh, great. <laughs> what you do? This is awful. You know I love you if I'm doing this. You know that, right? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat. My eyeshadow, my eyeshadow. Don't worry. We got this. If you ever doubted oh, my love for you. I know. No, it doesn't look it doesn't look no, like uh -huh. bad, bad, but it, yeah. it just got a little intense. Actually, you were just hyperventilating. I don't love the brows. The brows are a bit heavy. They're they're a bit heavy. Just oh. a little bit. But okay, they're not thing. terrible. Are they terrible? I've never seen my eyebrows like that. No, they're not. I mean, I don't know. You tell me you're the makeup artist. Maybe we just needed a lighter color. Maybe Frida wasn't the color we should have gone with. Maybe like Salma. All right, moving right along. Great eyeliner. I was actually told that Kat Von D had like the best eyeliner, like I heard it doesn't move, and that it's amazing, so we are gonna try it out. It is the Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Trooper Black. Cierra los ojos, that means close your eyes. I'm gonna see Grace two weeks from now still wearing this exact same eyeliner, so I'm trying to be very precise because I don't think it's gonna move. Hence why my focus is like, Enfocate. What does enfocate Enfoc mean? So growing up, my mom would say like enfocate. Is that like super slang for focus? Uh, yeah, I don't think. That don't... can't be the proper word. Oh, something's happening, guys. I think that's very nice. Look for yourself. Oh, that's a clean line. It takes a second for this pen to warm up, but once it's going, <laughs> it's never going away. One of the things I wanted to shout out is that we have multiple highlighters here that are pretty awesome. So in the trio from Reina Rebelde and the Coqueta uh, kit, the contour and color trio, they had the blush here that we use that is amazing, I love that. 
and it had a highlighter as well that was awesome. But there are two other highlighters that we have here that are also amazing. The one from the Desi and Katie collection from Dose of Colors. And guys, there's a new one that we definitely wanna try out which is by Artist Couture. Now Artist Couture is by a makeup artist named Mac Daddy who's super popular here in LA. And I'm pretty sure he's like popular at this point everywhere. So we are going to use this highlight. Oh, this, oh, hold up. That has glitter. Oh, this is like a, this is like a glitter. Mm -hmm. Yo, not gonna lie. This is, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's phenomenal. Where is this going? The corners of your eyes. Okay. Memories from the corner of my eyes. A little goes a long way, close. Um, that highlighter is bomb. This is a keeper. I'm keeping this in my own personal stash. When you see me cheekbones popping on the reel, you'll know that that was Artist Couture, which again, a Latino owned brand from the makeup artist Mac Daddy. He also has these amazing lip colors, Le Freak and Climax. <laughs> so we're gonna try the lips last, but first, we can't forget that the one and only Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, did an incredible collaboration with Inglot. We have here the lashes and we have the mascara. I feel like doing lashes on you would be a whole lot right now, but these are actually dope because they're the wings that I'm telling you. Oh, those are really pretty. So you either can just use <laughs> them on the sides as your outer wings to like create a cute little effect. Not gonna front though, my favorite lashes by a Latina company are for sure Jenny 69's Batty B lashes are my favorites. I've used them in my tutorials before and I wanted to include them in this, but I actually ran out of them because I use them so much. Jennifer also came out with a mascara from her Inglot collection and oh, that's cool. what we are about to try. And they are called Viva Las Lashes Mascara. That's cute. I like that name. Viva Las Lashes. When I tell you close, you close, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna say, oh. Sierra, por favor. Mm -hmm. Please, please. Sierra, por favor. Lentamente. Question, does it make a difference to you when the, the mascara brush is thin like that? I, I prefer actually, it like that. Really? Mm -hmm. I usually prefer a super fluffy. Really? Like a super like fluffy. Like the Maybelline one? Like no. back in the day, that green, no? No, the green and black, I mean the green and, and, and pink, pink one, original yes. Maybelline, for me, the brush is more similar to this, it's tiny. The brushes mm -hmm. I like are the super fluffy ones, like my favorite is Dior. And the more affordable version of that for me is for sure the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash. And I normally don't use a tiny brush like this. This is actually really great for your bottom lashes. I feel like if you wanted to be super precise, the precision of this brush that. is perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's do your bottom lashes, look up. This is a great bottom mascara. If you really want precision, I'd recommend this. Jennifer Lopez Inglot, into it. Lipsticks. What do you wanna go with, mamacita? You wanna go with Reina Rebelde from Target in Enchufada, you wanna be plugged in? Or do you wanna go with Mac Daddy's Artist Couture, Le Freak? Or are you feeling more Artist Couture, Climax? Dios Santo. Which one do you think I'm gonna pick? Enchufada, no. No, you know, Le Freak. Climax is what I would pick. Well, because. <laughs> Not because of the name. Because <laughs> it's light. God, Lana. You're so good. Lana said, whoa. <laughs> so the Enchufada from Reina Rebelde, which is available at Target. And remember guys, all of these products that I'm mentioning and using are available in the link in the description. Just click on it and you'll get all of this stuff. You'll get links to this. Okay, wait, hold up. I actually wanna try this. I feel like this kind of goes with what I have going on. It's super shimmery. So girl, try this one out. I'm gonna try this one. That is, that tastes amazing, the Reina Verde. And I am going to try the Mac Daddy Artist Couture in Le Freak. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Yeah. Um, these are stunning. These lipsticks are gorgeous. These glosses are amazing. This was super fun, you guys. I hope you enjoyed our little Latina beauty haul with all these different makeup pieces. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this maybe introduce you to a brand you'd never heard of or let you know that it was Latina owned. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it and remember to click on the link to actually 
get all of these products. Don't forget to subscribe. Besitos. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>